is it is so good to be with you all. What an extraordinary crowd. And it was organized in just a few days. It's amazing. Amazing. There, there are few issues in Washington that could so easily bring together leaders of both parties in both chambers. But the survival of the state of Israel and her people unites us together. And it unites all Americans. All Americans. Let me be very clear. The United States stands unequivocally with our neighbor, our friend, our ally, Israel. They are their neighbors in a global sense. That's right. Last week, a bipartisan group of members stood in solidarity on the steps of the House to mourn the loss lives in the October 7th attack and to grieve with the families of Israeli hostages that are still being held in Gaza. We heard heartbreaking and tragic accounts of their kidnappings. And of course, as you know, many of those families haven't received an update on their well-being since that day. As a parent myself, I can begin to comprehend their despair. All of us feel that way. This morning, we watched the horrific film that was produced by Hamas from their own cameras as they committed the assault. It's unspeakable. The auditorium was full of Republicans and Democrats in the House, and they wept as we watched the film together. Most couldn't sit through it. These Israeli hostages were kidnapped in their homes by barbaric Hamas terrorists for simply being Jewish and living in Israel. As Prime Minister Netanyahu says so well, this is a fight between good and evil, between light and darkness, between civilization and barbarism. Barbarism. The calls for a ceasefire are outrageous. We stand with you in that. Hamas terrorists waged the bloodiest assault on Jewish lives since the Holocaust, and there are hundreds of hostages, many of them Americans, still stuck inside Gaza. Israel will cease their counteroffensive when Hamas ceases to be a threat to the Jewish state. But Hamas's genocidal and anti-Semitic rhetoric isn't just confined to Gaza, as you know. The war in Israel has awakened an alarming amount of anti-Semitism towards Jewish people here in the United States and across the globe. From the halls of Congress to college campuses, this rise of anti-Semitism must be stopped. We've heard many echo the Hamas rallying cry of from the river to the sea, and I'm convinced that a lot of these college students that are engaging in these protests do not understand that is an explicit call for the extermination of Israel. It is happening daily in our country, as you know, and it is unacceptable for Jewish Americans to feel unsafe at home. It is unacceptable for Jewish businesses to face violence, vandalism, and threats. It is unacceptable for universities to allow Hamas apologists to assault and accost Jewish students on campus. It is unacceptable for any political leader in this nation to give credence to this dangerous rhetoric. We can and we must do more to stand with our great ally and friend. And it is my hope that this gathering today serves as a reminder to the entire world, but also to those within our own borders, that the United States stands proudly with Israel and the Jewish people forever. forever. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of this. God bless you. Speaker Johnson, Senator Ernst, all those assembled, Shalom. What an honor and a blessing to stand with you in solidarity during this very difficult moment for the Jewish people and for Israel. Hamas brutally attacked Israel on October 7th because Hamas wants to wipe Israel off the face of the earth. So let me be clear. We will never let that happen. Congress will continue to support, in a bipartisan way, the state of Israel and Israel's unequivocal right to exist as a Jewish and democratic state, always and forever. 
always and forever. Always and forever. From the very beginning of this conflict, President Joe Biden has strongly supported the state of Israel. And I strongly support President Biden's supplemental funding request for Israel, for Ukraine, and for humanitarian assistance. We must also decisively address the cancer of anti-Semitism with the fierce urgency of now. An attack on any of us is an attack on all of us. And we are going to do everything possible to stop the anti-Semitic attacks against our Jewish brothers and sisters. The United States and Israel have a special relationship. Our commitment to Israel's security is ironclad. And let me be clear, Israel has an absolute right to defend itself against Hamas terror. There's a question on the minds of many of us. Where do we go from here? We must stand with Israel in its effort to decisively defeat Hamas and make sure that this brutal terrorist regime can never rise again. We must make sure that every single hostage is returned home safely. And then we must stand together to secure a just and lasting peace between Israel and the Palestinian people. The special relationship between the United States and Israel is, yes, rooted in our shared values and our shared strategic interests. But the moral case for Israel is anchored in the painful history of the Jewish people. For centuries, Jews have been persecuted, brutalized by anti-Semitism, and violently thrown out of country after country. The Jewish people were violently expelled from Jerusalem by the Roman Empire. The Jewish people were violently expelled from Alexandria. The Jewish people were violently expelled from France. The Jewish people were violently expelled from England. The Jewish people were violently expelled from Spain. The Jewish people were violently expelled from Switzerland. The Jewish people were violently expelled from Portugal. The Jewish people were violently expelled from countries all throughout Europe. The Jewish people were violently expelled from the Middle East. The Jewish people were systematically murdered by the Nazi regime. The Jewish people were violently attacked by Hamas on October 7th, resulting in the largest loss of Jewish life in a single day since the Holocaust. So we are here, more than 100,000 people strong, to unequivocally declare, never again. Never again. Never again. The state of Israel must always exist as a safe haven for the Jewish people. And so we stand together with the Jewish community in Israel. We stand together with the Jewish community in America. We stand together with the Jewish community all throughout the world. We stand together in the effort to crush anti-Semitism. We stand together in the effort to crush anti-Jewish hate. We stand together in the effort to bring home the hostages. We stand together in the effort to make sure that America will always be a safe space for the Jewish community in every single zip code. God bless the hostages. God bless Israel. God bless the United States of America. How, how are we doing today? There are a lot of you out there. I think we could be a little louder. I said, how are we doing today? There you go, there you go. Both of my grandparents survived the Holocaust. And growing up, I remember hearing them talk about what came right before. The lies that began to spread about Jewish people, who we are, how we pray, what we represent. My grandparents had friends good people 
who nevertheless started to believe those lies. And when the Nazis came, these friends just let it happen. And, you know, I wonder if they ever found peace afterwards or if the rest of their lives were defined by the moment when they could have stood up, but again, they decided to stay silent. That's why I chose to do the opposite and stand loud and proud. One year ago, I released a docu-series called How To Never Forget on all of my social media platforms where I went back to Poland to retrace my grandparents' steps during the Holocaust, ending in Auschwitz, where my grandma was, to expose the next generation to the atrocities of what my grandma Lily and so many others endured. We all here, God willing, have long lives ahead of us. But I look around at what is happening and I wonder if the rest of our lives will be defined by what we chose to do in this very moment. These lies, they're spreading again. The violence is rising again. The threat is real again. And us young people, a lot of you guys are a lot younger than me, you guys have a choice to make. They can stay silent. They can let the lies spread. They can let it all happen again. Or they can stand up and stand together. They can stand together on behalf of Jews in Israel and around the world who no longer feel safe at school, at work, and especially online. They can stand together on behalf of their friends who are seeing one hateful comment after another whenever they scroll through social media. They can stand together on behalf of the victims of October 7th and the hostages that are being held by Hamas. That is why I am here, and that's why every single one of you guys are here, to stand up, to be heard. And that's why I hope that all of our friends will be there for us, that they will choose to stand with us. This is a moment that we will all remember forever. And what we do right now in this moment will stay with us for the rest of our lives. Can you guys just say with me, I'm Israel, hi. I'm Israel, hi. Thank you all so much.